Hi everybody, welcome to our Bertie campus. Uh, I'm here shooting a short instructional video because I want to give you some insight to what things are going to look like this coming Sunday, June the 7th, as we gather back to worship. It has been a long, long time, and we're super excited about being back together. And so if you will, just come on along with me, and we'll kind of let you in on what things are going to look like so you'll be familiar when the service gets ready to start. And we're having two services. So we have a 9 o'clock service and a 1030 service. And we're asking those of you who attend on a regular basis, if your last name starts with A through H to attend our 9 o'clock service, I through Z to attend the 1030 service. That way we've got plenty of space for everybody. We can accommodate uh, guests and visitors that may show up as well. I appreciate your attention with that. Now, I'm here, before you go into the building Sunday, we have these portable hand washing stations. And I'll uh, just simply come up here, you can press the soap dispenser, press the foot pedal, water's gonna come out, and we've got disposable hand tiles here you'll be able to use, just drop them in the waste basket, and then you can go into the building. Now, I do wanna say this, that if you plan to sit with your family or friends or neighbors that you've already socialized with, you're comfortable being side by side, you folks need to gather out here together before you go in because once you go in we're going to go ahead and sit you the way that you came in so that's important now as we come right on in into the building as you can see we've kind of got this blocked off to discourage folks from going in any of the other directions but on the table in front of me so not only we're we offering hand washing stations but there's hand sanitizer here if you prefer that method and also there are surprise tithes and offering envelopes. If you'd like to take one of those and fill it out, you'll be able to do so once you're in the service because once you come into the building, we're gonna have leadership folks in place just pointing you and, and encourage you to move on along because we've gotta move a lot of people in a short period of time because we're only opening the doors about 15 minutes before service time. So keep that in mind. There will be no children's church for the next few weeks, no nursery, none of our typical um, opportunities for the kids as it were so they will be with families in the service and we want to be mindful of that and the one of the things that we're doing to help accommodate that is lord willing we're going to condense the services uh somewhat and so that they're a little bit shorter in duration so that if we do have kids and children in here uh, we're not going to hold them a long time plus we got to turn the service around and get more folks into the building for the next service now again, folks will be in place to show you and pointing for you to come and even we're going to uh, seat people coming to the front first and sending you all the way down. Now what that means is if you come in and there's a, uh, just two of you or four of you or six of you or 12 of you in your group, then we are going to seat you all together. But after we have a break in the space there, we have these place cards that says, love your neighbor, just don't sit here. And we want to create a safe space and environment for you. And so once you are seated with your family or your group, there will be a spacing of three of those seats that will be designated empty. We'll start reseating until we fill this entire front row up. Then we'll go to the second row, third row, and, and right on back as far and as much as we need to do so. Uh, I know from experience that you folks have been so kind and so patient uh, with what we have asked of you to help us to facilitate the changes we've been going through. And I know that Sunday's going to be no different. And we just felt like having a video in place actually walking you through would help you to be able to see how things are going to look. Now, at the conclusion of the service, just like we brought you in and filled one row at the time, we're going to exit one row at the time. And there'll be somebody to help you with that, so there'll be no confusion. And as you get ready to leave the building, right here as you go out, there's an offering plate in place and the tithes and offering envelope that you filled out or whatever you have brought with you or prepared in giving will be available. You can just drop it off right here. You can come right on out, in the, out of the building and hopefully it'll be a beautiful sunshiny day just like it is right now. Uh, and again, we're doing this just as a, a public service to you so that you will know uh, because there are uh, quite a few changes in place for the next few weeks. And we just want you to be aware of it. We want you to be familiar. So when Sunday comes, 
everything moves along smoothly and, and orderly. And um, we're, again, we're just so grateful and thankful to, that we're going to be able to gather back to worship on Sunday. I hope that you will make every effort to be here, encourage somebody to come and be with you. You've seen all of the safety measures that we have put in place. We hope that we have created not only a safe but a secure environment where you feel good about coming back to the house of the Lord. And Lord willing, we look to see you here this Sunday for worship, 9 o'clock and 1030. Have a great day.